In this video today, I want to show you the new pixel settings where you can install your pixel. Facebook changed some things around and many are asking where is the pixel located right now. So let's jump in and let's set up our first pixel when you never set up a pixel. Morgan, guten Tag, and as always, sunny greetings right here out of Fort Lauderdale. When we have not been formally introduced yet, my name is Annette Block, and I am an online advertising in marketing consulting where I help the real estate industry understand the importance of online presence, omnipresence in their business so they can raise your business and dominate their local market. For today, we want to talk about pixel. If you didn't know what a pixel code is, a pixel code, it's nothing else as a code Facebook is providing us, we can place into the back ends of websites, of unleading landing pages, funnel pages, wherever you are able to place a code. Now you can also place your pixel code. The pixel will help you to follow people along everybody and tuck them or Facebook will tuck them when they are on your landing pages, on your business page, on your, on your uh, uh, website. Now Facebook understands exactly that that person was there and now you are able to follow them along or even send or set something else in front of them where we are now talking about targeting or retargeting, you may have heard about those options. So to have the ability to have a pixel code set, you need your pixel code. And I will show you within the new Facebook settings where the pixel is located right now. So let's jump into Facebook Business Manager and let's set up our pixel code. Before we jump into our business manager, make sure you subscribe here to our channel if you have not done that yet. Also give us some thumbs up and make sure you click the little notification bell so that you are notified every time we are bringing out a new video. So let's jump into our business manager. So for setting up our pixel code, I am right here in our business manager, where now I'm going into our business settings. Before it was very easy, you just set it up, but now Facebook tucked the pixel a little bit away and it's a different way to set it up. So let's jump into business settings where you can go to your left or you can take the shortcuts and go from there into business settings. Within our business settings now, now we do find the pixel code under business settings in our data source. So let's take a look where we now can find our pixel. We are in data source and I open it and here you can find your pixel. So we have to set up now the pixel where we are now creating just a new pixel where we say add pixel. In here, you would name your pixel so that you easily can recognize for what that pixel is. If you are an agent, I believe you only need one or two pixels depending how you want to run it, but usually one pixel is good enough so that we understand what people are doing on our website. So you name it, you put the website in there optional, I would recommend it so you always have a double check that you understand where your pixel is and then we continue and Facebook will give you the pixel code right there. And here you have all the pixels we have set up and now you can set up your own pixel. Then from there, you can go into your events, event manager, and that's where you will find all your installed pixel. So if you missed your pixel code at the first time, now you easily can go back and also can go in there and <clears throat> 
go in there and put your pixel in here. So we isolate our pixel and also what we want to do when you don't find your pixel code, you and I want to do it slowly for you guys. So you go into add an event and now you create from a new website and here you have installed the code manual. You just copy the code and now you, that code is copied to your mouse or to your clipboard and now you take that code and can post it within the end of the header within your website your landing page your funnel page wherever you are able to place a facebook pixel and now facebook is able to tag anyone and follow them along where they are going so this is now where we are able to create our pixel and now also do pixel segmentation. Pixel segmentation are isolating events so that we know exactly where our pros prospect or our consumer is in the process on our website. So when somebody is landing on a certain website, I would put it as a page view or content view. And when somebody converted, gave us name, number and email, I would put it as a lead. So that makes me able to exclude everybody who is already a lead. So I, they don't, um, or I am able to exclude them. So I don't have to they pay double when I post something or put something in front of people who I want their name, number, and email. So Pixel is very, very easy to install. You just saw how I did it. And now you are able to follow along and retarget or set a targeted message in front of people you want to reach. For this, we talk about audience building, how to build your audience and how to struck an offer so that you can retarget your audience. You want to put something in front of them and Pixel for this is very, very helpful. So I hope that helped you today. So make sure that you subscribe right here to our um, YouTube channel when you have not done so. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and turn on the little notification bell so you will be notified every time we are coming up with a new video. We do have other videos up here where we are talking about how you can use pixel codes, how to build your audience. So if that is something you want to look into it, so up there you will find those information.